5 Amazing Facts About Bala Hartun First, let's have small intro. Bala Hartun was the wife of Osman I, the founder of the Ottoman dynasty. She was the daughter of Sheikh Edibali and the mother of Aladdin Ali Pasha of the Ottoman Empire. Edibali became Osman's mentor and gave him the Ghazi sword. Osman at Edibali's Durga dreamed of a state for this dream, thus led to the establishment of a state. After this, Edibali's daughter was married to Osman I. She died in 1324 in Balsak. Although she preceded her husband, Osman, she was buried with her father in Balsak. 7. Bala Arabia, Hatun's tomb along with that of her mother's, Ildiz Hatun is a famous historical landmark found within the complex of the tomb of Sheikh Edibali. Fact number 1. Bala Hatun was the most religious lady of her time. Her father was the most influential religious leader and being brought up in very peaceful and rageous atmosphere. She was very religious and it is said that she used to distribute food and other accessories among the people in Sogut. Her qualities were mostly reflected towards the Ismaic teachings that it is also said that after her father's death she was the most favorite person for the people of Sogut. Fact No. 3. The Training of Women in War In the era of Osman, it was situation where their lives were never been completely safe and sound. There was always a risk of attack and getting killed by enemies or became a victim to their torture. Especially, women were the most targeted so Basian Ram, meaning Anatolian Women's Union, is allegedly the world's first women's organization founded by Fatma B.A.C., the wife of A.H.I. Evren, in order to organize and develop women, whose members are migrant Turkmen women in Anatolia in the 13th century. Basian Rum, who contributed to the recognition of Islam and Turkification of the mother tongue helped Anatolian. Women fight alongside their husbands in defense of their homeland against enemies when necessary. It has supported the development of women at many points from culture to arts. Bala Hatun was daughter and A.H.I. Bey. So after her mother's death, she was the one who took her after the control and led it although information about Bala Hatun being their head is taken from the point that it was founded by an A.H.I. woman and it continued till late century, which was the era of Osman I. So it means the control was in Bala's hand although the info is not confirmed whether she was or not. But Ottoman historian Akbazada mentioned Basian Ram for the first time in the 15th century in his work titled Tavari Iaii Osman. Fact No. 3. The Ownership of Village From the central government records regarding the property she received at the time of her marriage. The village of Koza and the district of Barsuk, where the dervish hospice of her father was located. Her father Sheikh Adibali was an influential religious leader in the Ottoman territories. Fact No. 4. The Magical Love of Bala and Osman In this way, Osman used to invest a ton of energy in Adibali's home in the town Koza of Salt Eskia area of Bayasuk sooner or later. Be that as it may, Osman became submerged in inconspicuous considerations. He became contemplative and oblivious, and now and then would meander riding. For, one evening, during one of Osman's visits, he ended up gathering Edibali's little girl, and fell terribly infatuated with her. That incited him to visit the Sheikh's Durga much more as often as possible. Furthermore, with each ensuing visit his solitary love became much more. He sent a marriage proposal, but even after that her father rejected it but Osman and her father relation were not disturbed by it. He waited for about 12 years and after such a long patterns he married his first love and they became one in 1289. Their love was so strong that after the death of Osman Bala died in the same year after some months of his death. Fact No. 4. Separate living in Sogut. Bala Hatun being in great love with Osman still, 
lived separately from Asman after her father. In her late years of life in Bilsik or Sobat not confirmed, but mostly it is Bayasuk, where she looked after the Daga of her father. Also it is the same village whose ownership was given to her. She took care of it, and the people with all her efforts. It is the reason she was buried with her mother and father in Bilsuk. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe and healthy.